All right, hello. Welcome to this review of Marvel's Katie, played by Aquafina. So this is a uh, Target exclusive figure. Um, not as bad as I was expecting when I saw the promotional images. Her face looks a lot better in person than it does on all of the photos online. It actually does resemble uh, Aquafina fairly well. Um, I can't really think of what she looks like off the top of my head, but I assume it's something like this. And she comes with this little thing, which is apparently named Morris. I'll talk about him right now. So let me move her out of the way. She's probably going to fall. Morris is some sort of Chinese mythological creature. Um, has no eyes, no face, six legs, four wings absolutely no articulation is uh there she goes is on this figure but it's uh it's kind of cute i guess you can put some googly eyes right here um not much to say kind of looks like a, a face there's the four eyes and then big old mouth um it's good sculpt wings are soft plastic uh it's like a little little pretty purple and teal underneath not very painted I don't know if it's supposed to end that uh, early on the feather I guess so um, yeah no articulation just gotta plop them down right there not much really going on with Morris the uh, Marvel's Katie figure which the back of the box reads let me zoom in on her while I read this Katie, Shang-Chi's oldest friend, is free-spirited and fiercely loyal. So, um, yeah, pretty bottom-of-the-barrel description there for her. Um, like I said, I am much more impressed with this figure once I got it in person and, you know, looked at it, and especially out of the box. It's a pretty good figure. Let me pop her head off real quick so I can get that little bandolier sort of thing off in her quiver. So... <clears throat> The weirdest thing, I think, is I can't figure out. Something about her neck is just, it seems off. I think it's the fact that the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe figures, they have this joint right here. So it's not the traditional you know, peg, it's this weirdly low polygon ball uh, dumbbell joint, I guess, is what this is called. And it, just for some reason, it makes her head look way too short. It's because it, it like it pushes her head forward, and then you have to sort of play with it a little bit. Yeah, that looks fine, I suppose. But yeah, just something off about it, especially in the promotional photos, like I said. I didn't think this was going to look like a very great figure. Um, let's see. She kind of looks like Lucy Liu. <laughs> Is that racist? Um... You can't really make it out on the camera, but she does have, like, freckles or something. I don't know if that's just, like, a printing thing or the paint or if Aquafina actually does have freckles, but it's just odd-looking. Well, not odd. Um, it's just, like I said, reminded me of Lucy Lou. So if you're looking for a uh, Kill Bill custom, hey, you can use this, I guess. Let me zoom out so we can talk about her articulation. So, um, Katie is in this big plastic uh, dress. It's nicely detailed, as you can see by such. Nice little sculpt. It's a pattern that you can feel. Nice texture. It goes all the way up and down uh, on her sleeves as well. So that's really cool. I do enjoy that. And her little tunic piece right here is just beautifully painted, actually. It's surprisingly good for a Hasbro figure. Uh, little stitching bits are not painted, but that's not really a surprise. Um, yeah, it's a really nice looking figure. I really enjoy the uh, painted bits right here on her collar and everything. But let's let's go over our articulation. Arms out that far. No double joints in her elbows, but she can get it pretty good range of uh, motion through there going back down wrists swivel up and down you know this all that turns there's no 
bicep articulation or anything. Um, you can see a little bit of her arm in the sleeve. Now, same on this hand. She comes with two extra hands, both of which are closed fists. So if you need her to punch someone, you can go ahead and do that. Her hands are very tiny. It feels like her hands are smaller than uh, usual Marvel Legends hands for some reason, or it's just the fact that um, I haven't played around with a female figure in a while, and it's just odd. Um, let's see, her articulation is limited by this big-ass dress, but as you can see underneath, she has these like cool pants uh, that are sculpted in here. One leg can come out, one leg cannot. Double-jointed uh, knees. Nice sculpted feet. Uh, hopefully this goes on wikifeet.com. Uh, whatever the fuck that foot fetish website is. But yeah, I don't think this has ever been a thing in Marvel Legends before. Toenails not painted. Um, feet are just feet. You know, they go up. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. That They really, really go up. She can do a smooth criminal very well. Let's see. Let's zoom out so you can see this. You gotta sort of, you know, put her on there, hold her down with your hands, but... Yeah, it's not bad. Now I gotta fucking fix this goddamn camera. Um, again, legs are very limited in the articulation, so you're not gonna get a whole lot out of this. But... That does not matter for me, because I plan on turning her into Electra, because I don't have an Electra figure. She comes with this little bow and arrow. No, it's the same sort of crap. I think this is the one that came with Danny Moonstar. Should have grabbed it beforehand to uh, check, but it does look similar. If not, I'm very surprised that Hasbro made another bow and arrow. Um, she has this little quiver which is painted just silver on the red plastic. Arrow bundle. Single arrow. You can hold those, uh, you can hold them in her hands. Uh, you can, you know, pose her, firing the arrows, doing whatever. But, as I said before, I do plan on turning her into an Electra figure. I don't know if I should keep this head. I was looking through the bin of heads that I have and found this one for Silver Sable. Although it does look too big. Not quite sure. If I can get this fucking thing on here. I don't know. How does that look? What do you think? Is that too big? I feel like it's too big looking at it in the camera. Especially when maybe compare it to someone else. Like a hand ninja. Yeah, that's too big. I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one. Oops. But yeah, all around this is a surprisingly good figure. Uh, again, disappointing that she has this dress. Um, but I'm just gonna cut it up to make it look like Electra's fucking weird loincloth thing. Um, nice art, uh, nice accessories and everything like that. No big, uh, Shocker here. Apparently this is a, you know, Target exclusive, so I don't know how much of a pain in the ass it's going to be. Uh, this is an MCU figure, and every single thing I've seen from people talking about the Shang-Chi film, Marvel Legends, is bitching about the fact that it's a lot of film figures. So yeah, there she is with the bow uh, and arrow. I'm not really certain how <laughs> she should go about holding this because this bowstring definitely isn't long enough for her to, oh god, I'm losing it, for her to uh, be able to pull it back. So, uh, she doesn't really have a hand that looks like she's like, you know, letting loose like the Kate Bishop did. Um, so you can sort of maybe get her in a pose where she's about to play it, about to play, it, um, about to let loose the bow like that. Um, yeah, the hands are sort of limiting. Um, they are interesting sculpts. She has like a little pinky raise right there, and the inner fingers are in, and the, the hands raised. Um, actually, it's the same on both sides. She looks like a Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. She's going, jeez. 
Um, I don't really have much to say. I Like I said, I do like this figure. This is a very good figure. Eh, well, I won't go very good because, again, this dress. What the fuck are you doing, Hasbro? It is just a cone. It's a traffic cone. Uh, let's put her next to some other figures. Uh, Morris, right there. Hand Ninja. He's not going to want to stand for some reason. There we go. And my favorite Marvel legend, Betrock Zelipe. So she is a pretty good height. I think she's about standard female Marvel legend figure. Probably should have grabbed one of those. But hey, uh, hindsight's 2020. One more thing. Let's put her next to Bullseye from the Toy Biz era. Hmm. Bullseye is slightly taller than her, ever so slightly. And I also, I want to see what she looks like with the size from the Toy Biz Electra, which is a god-awful figure, in her hands. So, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. Again, just got to figure out what sort of, what head sculpt I'm going to use for it. Can't imagine I need to have a lot of paint. Drop the bullseye. Um, since, you know, she's all red and she has these perfect little pantaloons. So I just got to cut the skirt up. Um, so it's not a whole lot of work going into turning her into Electra. The um, articulation I forgot to mention in her chest, it's um, one of those uh, just straight up joints that is hidden by her little cloak or a tunic piece right here. Let me see. So uh, how well can you see that? Let me get another light. Whoops. Let's turn this bad boy on. So as you can see right here. There you go. It's just a big old dumbbell joint in her chest. So this will probably have to stay. Um, you can see the sort of tucking in going on right there. Uh, it's sort of like the uh, Kylo Ren Black Series figure was similar in that way. But, um, yeah. Let me move Bullseye out of there. Uh, sure, she can hold on to those Psy. Um, I think it's a really good figure. I am I'm quite happy with it. I wasn't expecting to be uh, too interested in it, especially since the um, movie hasn't come out yet. Uh, I like Aquafina, I guess. I think I've only ever seen her in the, the Jumanji sequel. But she did a great Danny DeVito. I think that's who she played. But I do look forward to uh, seeing this movie and seeing her in action. Um, hopefully, if you want to get this figure, you are able to. Again, you can only get it at Target or on the Target website. Uh, I bought it online through Target and just picked it up there. Uh, again, I don't imagine she'll be selling out. People are really hating on this wave for some reason. Um, but yeah. I will see you guys next time. I will probably be uh, continuing the Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi uh, Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure wave. It's the first wave I've bought uh, in completion in quite a while. Um, but yeah, I give this figure... Mm, seven... Morrises... Out of ten. This skirt really fucks it all up. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!